before you sort of accuse me of this is a witch hunt against Harry Maguire and, and Victor Lindelof, that is not the purpose of this video. I want to try and discuss and something that I think was on show against Real Sociedad from Harry Maguire, from Victor Lindelof, something that was on show all of last season and something that I believe will be on show all of this season. Anytime Maguire and Lindelof play alongside each other. And I really want to try and articulate that problem. So please watch this video. Please subscribe if you're not new, if you're new to the community, sorry, and you're not a part of it. Because I try to do as many of these sort of level-headed analysis videos as possible. But Eric Ten Hag, in that game against Real Sociedad, learned a lot of things. He really, really did about the quality of that second eleven, And in my opinion, I think he learned something absolutely substantial about Victor Lindelof and Harry Maguire. Because that was the opportunity for them to really sort of impress him. And I don't particularly think they took advantage of it enough. What I want to do now is explain all these points. But please watch this because this is something I'm really being excited to launch, actually. It's something for the community. It's our first ever poker tournament. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm excited about this one. This is a pretty big community announcement because I am going to be hosting the United People's TV online poker tournament on the 22nd of September at 8 p.m. with 888 Poker. All you got to do is follow the link in the description and you can join the tournament and be part of it, the first community tournament involving you guys and girls. Now, 888 Poker have brought the online poker playing experience to life, so make sure you follow the link in the description and join. You can play a variety of different types of poker on there as well. You've got tournaments, you've got cash games, you've got blasts, jackpots, sit and go, snap, fast fold poker, and a lot more. You can even play across multiple tables, multiple tournaments, if you are a poker aficionado. And hell, you look, you can even throw eggs, tomatoes at your opponents when you take them out, if you so wish. It's decent. But our community tournament, that's going to be on the 22nd of September at 8 p.m. You can get, you can, well, you will. You play against me. You might beat me. You probably will beat me. We'll see who is the best poker player in the United People's TV community. And you can also use the promo code POKER20 to deposit 10 and get $20. Nice. What more could you want? Well, yeah, I suppose you could want to beat me in the tournament, but to beat me in the tournament, you've got to sign up. So make sure you follow the link in the description, the 22nd of September at 8 p.m. with 888 Poker. You can play against me and every other member of the United People's TV community. The tournament is going to be free to join. Of course, you have to be over 18 to take part. And there's a prize pool of $150 going to the winner. Now, unfortunately, this is open to UK residents only. But you could play against me. My username is SamUPTV. So if you see me on the tables, make sure you try and knock me out. You might lose. I quite like poker. I haven't played in a tournament for a good long time. So I'm looking forward to actually playing with all of you. But all you got to do, sign up using that link in the description. 22nd of September. Make sure you're there. 8 p.m. sharp on 888 Poker to play against me in our first community tournament. Looking forward to it. Now, I know that was quite a long integration there. But trust me, I'm genuinely excited about launching this poker tournament. So they had to get all the information out there. So follow the link in the description and make sure you come across. But this, as I said, the purpose of this video here is to try and inform, in my opinion, of what the problem around Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof is. And it's all around the concept of speed. All right. And I'm not just talking about pace, but pace is the first issue. Because Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof, they both know what their weakness is. So it means that they have a naturally pragmatic side to their game, which means they just drop that a little bit deeper to try and protect themselves. Because they know full well that they don't have the pace to recover to get in behind. You remember at so many points last season that where Harry Maguire got exposed for that. Where Harry Maguire went up a little bit too far, ball in behind, huge problem. Huge, huge problem. And the same thing does exist around Victor Lindelof. Now, for me, that is the fundamental first problem with Victor Lindelof and Harry Maguire as a centre-back partnership. It's the fact that that line has to be deeper as a consequence to protect because we know that they don't have the pace. But when it comes to speed, the speed in... <sighs> Equally as much of a problem is the actual speed of the football. I'm talking about turning circles. I'm talking about any time uh, Harry Maguire or Victor Lindelof receive the ball in this position, how quickly they make a pass, how quickly they can move the ball on, how quickly they can make a decision. Simply put, I don't particularly think that Harry Maguire makes those decisions quick enough. We dawdle on the ball a little bit too much when we've got Lindelof and Maguire in defence. 
And this isn't just something that I'm making up now. And this, for me, is the, is the big issue around them now. That speed in terms of the pace. The speed in terms of the football. And everything there is a consequence. But we've now got this man to measure them up against. And this is, this is the biggest issue, I would say, for Maguire and Lindelof. Because in, in the Sanjo Martinez now, we have a marker. We have a, we have a precedent. We have a shining example of what Eric Ten Hag wants his defenders to be but not what he is getting there and with Lissandro Martinez there's so many different facets to it like Lissandro Martinez he had a tough time at the start games against Brighton and Brentford start the game against Brighton I think it, no well no he started against Brentford and obviously he did get exposed in in those two games I think Manchester United overall got exposed but he recovered from that and what Martinez brings He's got that speed and that pace in his legs. He's got that speed when it comes to footballing IQ. How quickly, when he receives the ball in these positions, how quickly he's able to pass it on. Sometimes one-touch football. Sometimes a line-breaking pass. And that's what that speed enables him to do. We've seen this from Lissandro Martinez. This, or, this is all about confidence. This is all about confidence. Line-breaking passes. Now, I know full well that Harry Maguire does have that in his locker. I remember him doing it at, at Leicester. I remember it. That's why I thought it was a decent signing at the time. But because he's so bereft of confidence, you're not seeing this. And you won't see this, really, from Harry Maguire alongside Lindelof. And you won't see that from him alongside Lindelof. And you won't see, really, this. This is, this is Martinez bursting through, breaking the lines. He did it against Real Sociedad as well. Martinez came off the bench and in 45 minutes, he was man of the match. And Maguire and Lindelof just left a lot to be desired. And that, for me, is the fundamental biggest issue and the biggest problem that we've got around Maguire and Lindelof. It's all to do with speed and the concept of it. The speed in their legs, the actual pace they've got, the speed that they will play that pass, the speed of their vision, that they slow the game down too much that Eric Ten Hag's football can't work properly. And that's where it becomes so abundantly obvious when you sit there and you compare the performances and, and, and just the natural playing style, I suppose, of Martinez compared to Maguire and Lindelof. And I don't really think that across the course of the season now, Eric Ten Hag can afford to play Maguire and Lindelof to get, like, together again as a partnership. Because we've, we've seen something new. And I'm not just talking about the fighting spirit. Yeah, that fighting spirit is a massive aspect of it. But it's, 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 the, it's the confidence to play first-touch football. It's that speed that breaks through, breaks out of defense. Bang, 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 bang. Remember that move against Leicester? It's like eight or nine passes. I think it was Alanga that dropped it back to, was it Matomene, and then to Eriksen, then to Martinez, then to Bruno, then to one-touch football, triangles. Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof, simply put, they take too much time on the ball. They need that extra touch. They need that extra split second. And when it comes to the Premier League, those split seconds count for everything. And when you've got a man there who's doing it so well and doing it so naturally, it jars and it makes that juxtaposition alongside Maguire and Lindelof so abundantly obvious. Now, I think across the course of the season, we're going to have to rely and use Harry Maguire. We're going to have to rely on and use Victor Lindelof. But I don't think it should be together. I think uh, Eric Ten Hag is going to have to find a way of getting these two players inside that starting eleven, and somehow getting some... I think Lindelof is better suited to it than Harry Maguire. I think Lindelof will, will be okay as a ball-playing centre-back. But they have to look alongside themselves look and see Martinez and see how fast he's playing it. That football IQ has to go up a few notches. The players have got to take that on. And of course, that comes through confidence. And a lot of this in Martinez, all of this... Comes through comp A, ability, sure. But B, the confidence to play those balls through the line. The confidence to burst out from defence with the ball. We've seen something new and different with Martinez. Something that we want more of as United fans. And something that Eric Ten Hag will want more of. Something that Eric Ten Hag has seen more of. And something that Eric Ten Hag will want to see in every single starting eleven from now on this season. That game against Sociedad has to be the example. I don't think it's going to hurt us. I, th I still think we'll top the group in the Europa League. 
I think we'll be happy with our overall performance in the Europa League after six games. That first game there, in my opinion, it really highlighted and put on show the big problems around speed with Lindelof and Maguire. They're just too slow to play Ten Hag's style of football together. Maybe individually, a bit like Matomane and Fred, I think they could do jobs at Manchester United. But Martinez, he's come in and he's set the bar. The things have got to reach that minimum level now. Or the players simply won't go into that starting eleven. That's what I think anyway. But you can let me know what you think in the comments below. As you always do.